Previous videos in this series gave an in-depth walkthrough for setting up a new product type to our Drupal Commerce website. We'll now add our first product using the new product type. I'll start by navigating to Commerce, and then Products. On the main products page, we see a list of products already added to the website. Here we can see each product title, the product type, and some other information. I'll add a new product by clicking the Add Product button. In previous videos, we set up the hat product type. Let's use that and add one. If you've watched the first four videos in the series, you'll notice the fields here as I go through adding this product to the site. We had previously created a whole bunch of different fields for the hat product type, hat product variation type, and a product color attribute. This is where it all comes together. I'll start with entering a title and some of the descriptive information. Next, I'll start categorizing this product. The red asterisk means that I need to select at least one category from the categories list. I'll choose both women and men here. Now I can select a brand. The hat I'm adding is a Patagonia brand, so I'll scroll down in this list and find that. I also want to show you how I can add this product to the home page featured list. To do this, all I need to do is select featured from the special categories list. Now I'll start adding product variations. Product variations are the different options of the overall product that the customer will ultimately purchase. This hat that I am adding has four color options, so I need to add each color as a variation. I'll quickly do this now. We had previously set up our hat product variation type in the third video of the series. The image field that I'm using is a custom field we had added into the video. The hat color selector is also a custom attribute that was set up in parts one and two. If you haven't watched them, those videos can help clarify how we got to this point. Bear with me for a moment while I add the remaining variations. There we go. All of our variations are added. Now we can move on to adding some recommended products. This type of field is called an entity reference field. In the last video, I had configured this field to only reference other products of certain types. All I do is start typing the name of a product that I would like to show as a recommended product, then select the appropriate product that appears. I can add a few or as many as I would like. I'll leave user commenting set to open and save the product. Right away, we're taken to our new product page. We can see all of our summary details and try out the rendered color attribute options, which automatically swaps the image. An add to cart button is also automatically on the page. Down below, we see the long description, specs, and a tab where customers can submit and read reviews. Further yet, we see our recommended products. 
There are a few duplicates and one product that doesn't have an image. We don't want that, so let's scroll back to the top of the page where I can choose to edit the product. Back in our edit page, I'll remove some content and make a few changes to the product variations. I'll also get rid of the recommended products that we don't need. What this will show you is that you only need to enter the content that is required for your product. If any of the fields are left blank, they just don't appear on the front end. Let's see our changes in action. If I look at the color options and select the yellow hat color, the price changes. I didn't change any of the others, so their prices are still all the same. Down below, the specs tab is no longer displayed because I removed that content. Below that, the recommended products now only displays three items. This concludes the Drupal Commerce Set Up a Product video series. What we've set up here is just the tip of the iceberg, so to speak. In all reality, this product is basic compared to what Drupal Commerce is capable of. From simple to obscure, whatever type of product or checkout flow you can think of, Drupal Commerce can do it. Thanks for watching.